Serial prank caller this morning. The Coast Guard is working to find a man they say has been calling in fake distress calls for the last two years. Not only wasting time, but hundreds of thousands of dollars. George Solis reports for WJZ. Good morning. The Coast Guard tells WJZ whoever is making these calls is getting bolder, making multiple ones a night a serious threat when it comes to public safety. Take a good hard listen. Hey, mate. Here it is once more. Hey, mate. A voice the U.S. Coast Guard tells WJZ they want the public to zero in on. Here's why. We have a, a gentleman who has uh, been calling over the past two years. He's made 28 calls total, two of which were last night. The problem. It's all been a hoax. WJZ reporting on the issue since it began back in 2014. Hey, made it. This person needs to be caught. Responding to these hoax calls isn't cheap, either for the Coast Guard or for the person caught making them. The false alarm calls cost the Coast Guard about half a million. Money a prank caller would have to pay back on top of facing up to six years in prison and hefty civil and criminal fines. But it all pales in comparison at the real threat behind fake distress calls. It could cause the potential loss of life for someone else who really is in, in harm's way. This boater agrees. If you're out there doing these distress calls, please stop, you know, because it puts all of us in danger. The Coast Guard tells WJZ they are zeroing in on the caller, a man somewhere between Loretta Heights and Admiral Drive in Annapolis. Unfortunately, it's a problem that goes beyond one caller. Dog, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I repeat, I'm thinking. Last night alone, I had four hoax calls come in. Voters tell WJZ they usually hear a number of these calls too, usually from children. Now, to put this into context, the Coast Guard says on any busy given summer weekend, they can receive up to 20 calls, calls they may have trouble getting to if they're responding to fake ones. Reporting George Solis, WJZ Eyewitness News. The Coast Guard's service is asking anyone who might know who this person is to contact them immediately.